Uh, I got to ask you about Anthony Cumia, and for the record, I love the guy, and I've pretty much stole his entire act. For wow. when I do my show, I steal all his impressions. Who is? Oh, see, uh, that's my Anthony uh, doing dice. But uh, it's fair to say that he has a, a lot of uh, controversy around him and a lot of online critics. So, question I always ask people who work for Compound is, uh, what's it like working with? And for Anthony, knowing that he has all these critics and fucking people like to get him, I uh, I try not to judge him. I um I think that everybody should be like taken who they are. Like on that day, you know what I mean. Like like when I meet, like if I were to meet you, I should I should base my judgment and like my impression of you based on like what I see and who you are right now. Not on like what everybody says you did like two, three, five, ten years ago. I think that's not really fair. Like I don't want to be judged on my worst moments either. Uh, and I like I've read some of it. Like I kind of it's not that I don't care, but I uh, I think he's a funny guy and I like respect his talent. And at the end of the day, like I my sense of humor is a really good fit with Compound Media, and and I just want to make people laugh myself. I just want to have a good show and put out a good product. So like, at the end of the day, it's just like I I work well with the guy. I think he's funny. He's he's never done anything weird to me. He's never been like disrespectful. He's he's been nothing but so much fun to hang out with. And like, hey, come over for this party. Hey, like you're you know he did my show on Monday and it was the first time he ever did my show. Like I've done his show a couple times and I was like a little intim intimidated because he's like. He's like this radio friggin' legend, and it was him and Aaron Berg, like two huge personalities, <laughs> and everyone was so funny, and like the show was so great, and uh, it's something that may eventually go on Compound, but for now I'm just gonna put it on my Patreon, and uh, but I the whole time, like yeah, I'm having a good time, but I the whole time I'm worried, like oh, is Anthony having fun? Like is he? Does he think I'm smart? Does he think I'm funny? Like you're just like oh, you like you know, it's the boss, right? So you want to do well. And then afterwards, I was like, oh, my God, it was so much fun. This was great. Like, so that made me feel really good, like, that I facilitated, like, a really good, fun time. And everyone got to shine. And uh, it, it was, like, it made me feel really good. I was like, wow, here's this, like, super talented guy, like, giving me props. Like, and I, I feel like, what the fuck am I even, why am I even here sometimes? Like, it's kind of, like, surreal. Yeah, I, I uh, love him, and, and the thing is, when I had him on my podcast, I think it was back in March or February, uh, I, I can say this to you because I can tell how disgusted you already are by me, but I got, I don't know what happened, but let's just say uh, the elevator of The Shining came out of me, ah! and uh, this was right before, like five minutes before I was to interview Anthony, and then... We're on the air, and I could feel myself getting lightheaded and drowsy, and it's like, I can't cancel. Anthony tolerated the fact that I was clearly uh, uh, a disgusting piece of slime. What, were you, like, hungover? No, I don't know what it was, because uh, I'm trying to lose weight, so sometimes I eat this stupid shit to lose weight, and oh boy, did it fight back. Oh, you were lightheaded to shit, okay. Oh, I think a quarter of my spine came out. <laughs> You couldn't have done it. You couldn't have done the show from the bathroom and just turned down the volume. <laughs> I wouldn't do that to Hitler. <laughs>